Have you ever thought about what it really takes for a nation to stand firm in protecting its seas, asserting its sovereignty, and ensuring the safety of trade routes that fuel its economy? What kind of vessel can balance firepower, endurance, stealth, and adaptability all in one? Today, that story unfolds with the BRP Antonio Luna, hull number FF-151, one of the most modern guided missile frigates of the Philippine Navy. Named after the great Filipino general Antonio Luna, a man known for his intelligence, fierce discipline, and unshakable patriotism, this ship carries not only advanced military hardware but also a legacy of national pride. When it sails, it is more than a ship, it is a symbol of a country rising to meet the challenges of a changing world. The BRP Antonio Luna was built by Hyundai Heavy Industries in South Korea, following the Philippine Navy's modernization program. It is the second of the Jose Rizal class frigates, serving as the sister ship of BRP Jose Rizal FF-150. At first glance, its sleek hull and angular design immediately stand out. This isn't just for style, its shape is carefully engineered to reduce radar cross-section, giving it stealth characteristics that make it harder for enemies to detect. In naval warfare, the ability to see without being seen can often make the difference between victory and defeat, and Antonio Luna was built with that philosophy in mind. In terms of size and structure, the ship measures around 107 meters in length with a beam of 14 meters and displaces more than 2,600 tons. It may not be as large as the destroyers of bigger navies, but it is compact and efficient, designed for both coastal defense and open sea missions. Its propulsion system uses a CODAD combined diesel and diesel configuration, giving it the ability to sprint at over 25 knots and sustain long-range patrols with an operational endurance of more than 4,500 nautical miles at cruising speeds. For a country with vast maritime zones like the Philippines, this endurance is critical. It allows the ship to remain at sea for extended periods, protecting fishing grounds, monitoring maritime traffic, and responding to territorial challenges. But a warship is more than just its hull and engines, it is the weapons it carries that define its role on the battlefield. The BRP Antonio Luna is armed with a 76mm Oto Malara Super Rapid Gun mounted forward, capable of engaging surface ships, aircraft, and even incoming missiles with rapid precision. It is supported by secondary machine guns for close defense. Beyond conventional weapons, the frigate carries surface-to-air missiles to defend against aerial threats and surface-to-surface -surface missiles that can strike enemy ships from a distance. To counter the threat of submarines, the ship is equipped with torpedo launchers and advanced sonar systems that allow it to detect and neutralize underwater targets. On top of this, the close-in weapons system CIWS, acts as the last line of defense, firing bursts of ammunition to destroy incoming missiles or aircraft before they can hit. All these weapons are tied together by a sophisticated combat management system. This high-tech brain integrates radar, sonar, electronic warfare sensors, and weapon systems into one cohesive platform, allowing the crew to process information quickly and respond effectively in real time. Imagine being able to track multiple targets in the air, on the surface, and underwater, all while deciding which weapon is best suited for the threat, that's what the Antonio Luna can do. Adding to its versatility is its aviation capability. The ship has a flight deck and hangar that can host a naval helicopter, typically the AW-159 Wildcat. With this, the ship's eyes and ears extend far beyond the horizon. The helicopter can perform anti-submarine warfare, maritime patrol, or even search and rescue missions. This makes the Antonio Luna not just a ship limited to what its onboard sensors can detect, but a mobile command platform capable of coordinating operations across the seas and skies. Inside, the ship balances combat readiness with crew comfort. Modern living spaces, improved quarters, and automated monitoring systems mean sailors can operate efficiently on long missions. Unlike the aging vessels the Philippine Navy once relied on, the Antonio Luna provides better safety, reliability, and working conditions for its crew, which directly translates into higher morale and better performance in the field. One of the most significant aspects of the BRP Antonio Luna is its symbolism. For decades, the Philippine Navy depended on secondhand ships from allies, many of which were outdated compared to regional counterparts. With the arrival of the Antonio Luna, the Philippines has stepped into a new era. 
This frigate not only enhances the Navy's ability to patrol contested waters like the West Philippine Sea but also allows the country to participate in multinational naval exercises with credibility and confidence. In doing so, it strengthens alliances with other nations while sending a clear message that the Philippines is serious about defending its maritime domain. Of course, with modernization comes questions. How will the Antonio Luna perform in real-world scenarios where tensions are high and technology is rapidly evolving? Will the Philippines be able to acquire more ships of this caliber to form a balanced fleet? And perhaps the most pressing question, as rival powers build larger and more heavily armed fleets, can a handful of frigates like the Antonio Luna shift the balance of power in contested waters? These questions remain open, but what is clear is that this ship is a milestone, one that will shape the Navy's path for decades to come. The BRP Antonio Luna is not just about weapons and steel. It represents a new direction, a modern face of a Navy once limited by old hardware. It is a symbol of independence, capability, and resilience. Every time it sails, it reminds both allies and rivals that the Philippines has the will and the means to safeguard its seas. And as the challenges of the maritime world grow ever more complex, ships like the Antonio Luna are not just assets, they are commitments, floating embodiments of a nation's promise to protect its future.